Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough! Guess what's active? Yup! The GR Challenge Cup at the GR Challenge Hall. Everything is a GR including the carpet on the floor here. Let's start on this side. <laughs> uh, you don't happen to have... I thought you would have had something new. <laughs> Okay, fine, fine, I'll just skip that. Uh, King Cup is starting very soon. I have no advice to give you, sorry. Just go on and do your best. I have advice for you, though. Energy removal and super energy removal. <laughs> Alright, so... here Today, King Villasini has set up the special King Cup tournament. If you'd like to participate, please go on inside. Okay. <laughs> so... As you can tell, that computer, they, they moved it. I don't know how they did that, the sign's a little glitchy, but they, they moved that humongous computer for that sign. I, I don't think the sign is covering the computer, it's, it's too close to the wall. But yeah, <laughs> challenges are not being accepted on this side of the stage. <sighs> Please speak to the receptionist on the other side for registration. Yep, just like the other challenge hall. <laughs> Today we're hosting a special event, thanks to King Villasini. This is Team GR's coveted King's Cup competition! The winner of the event will receive a special card as their prize. This cup's prize is a rare Blastoise level 52 card. Oh, that's not the duplicate promo. Man, I'm not getting any new promos in these Challenge Cups, am I? <laughs> like, you can get all sorts of promos at random from this, but it's set once the Challenge Cup starts. So if I were to reset repeatedly, like for that flying Pikachu or for this Blastoise, to get something different, it won't work. <laughs> so, yeah, um, the only cards that you really can't get from the Challenge Cups are like the Legendary cards and the Phantom cards. But anyway, you must win three battles in a row to be declared the victor. I'm pretty sure I could pull that off. I'm authorized to register all challengers here. Will you be our next challenger in this dueling competition? What if I say no? I see. That's too bad. Please come again. Okay. <laughs> Please go up on the stage. I thought there might be something different dialogue-wise. Yeah, it's a little bit glitchy up there, but... It's okay, it's okay. It's a patch, after all. <laughs> Things are heating up in King Villasini's thrilling King Cup! You must fight well to make your way to the top and emerge as the victor! If you don't, we drop you into the spikes! That's in the fine print. You've done spectacularly so far, James. You're almost there. Wait, from Team Rocket? Never mind. Oh, but the next challenger is certainly not going to be easy. It's the Pokémon Card Master Mint! Whee! Oh, no, no crowd again? No? Okay, okay. Are <laughs> you both ready? Set aside four prize cards first. Alright, you get the card battle! Woo! The GR guy returns! <laughs> yeah, it's not James from Team Rocket. It's James from Team Great Rocket. But anyway. Uh, see a lot of Dratini. That means I'll probably want to go... Go Dragonair somewhere along in here. But let's just first start out by putting those and kind of save... The Adratini for the uh, Pokemon Trainer, I suppose, and we go first. Let's plop a water on there, and wow, he's only got the Zubat. Mmm, mmm, that's not looking good for him. Let's power. <laughs> I should probably focus on powering up Jigglypuff to kind of finish him off in two turns, if at all possible. Oh no, he's probably gonna get a. Well, well, mm. oh, I was gonna say he's probably gonna get something that'll allow him to search. I, 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 then again, it's dark Pokemon, so that's evolution card, so you wouldn't be able to play that anyway. My bad. <laughs> Hopefully we're not going to have another day like yesterday. Yesterday, uh, as I look back at the footage, I was laughing at myself how dumb that was turning out. And yes, I put that on seal instead of a Jigglypuff because I got the Dugong. But yeah, um, I guess I was a lot more tired from the holidays than I realized. Like, I... Sometime after making the video, I was like, eh, I'm feeling pretty drowsy. Maybe I'll maybe I'll have a nap. Four hours later I wake up. <laughs> so yeah, that was uh, that was certainly something. And I'm gonna hope for another energy card for that. So yeah. <laughs> maybe I should have went for the jigglypuff. But yeah, the uh, uh it's just a lot of a lot of doing stuff tired me out and I was like, eh. 
Eh, sleepy. Need. Need more sleep, but must record video anyway. Must keep daily uploads. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, I guess I don't even need that dugong because I, I just outright won that. Yeah, I just, he just kind of had really, really bad luck that game. <laughs> well, we already gave him chances before, so let's not do it. <laughs> we actually can't play him again. He's just going to kind of leave. Mint has won the match. What a true Pokemon card master. Simply amazing. What an intense card battle. Mint, that's your first win. But bad luck, James. Please come again next time. <laughs> <laughs> Will the next Team GR member please come to the stage? And... Meet our new challenger, Chip! Woo! Remember? Remember our electrician GR mask guy? <laughs> next card battle will also be the four prize cards. Would you like to modify or change your deck? I would like to. Not. I just want to save my game. <laughs> I'm, okay, so he's got the lightning. I've got the water. Can my deck finally fail to his deck because of this? We shall see. Mint is now ready. Let's start the match. The power of electricity is back. Oh, and by the way, you'll notice that with these GR members, you don't have any of those special conditions going on in the Challenge Cup, so it's all like regular battles. You don't have to make any special decks or anything like that. Like Chip, I believe, wanted all lightning energy. Uh, at the time, so... Nope, not this time. We're using our regular deck, and that Jigglypuff might be an awkward start, depending on what he's got. Hmm. Hmm. Eh. Hmm. Ooh, that could be iffy. Uh, well, I'm definitely gonna go for the Lullaby right away. And, because I, I don't think he's going to be able to knock out Jigglypuff in one turn. Very, very unlikely. So I'm just going to do that and uh, hold on to my energy cards at the moment. And hopefully I'll make it through the turn. I probably will, though. Oh, no! <laughs> he's using my tactics against me! That's fair. Everyone is allowed four copies of energy removal and super energy removal. Um, Starmie, nah, not really. <laughs> um, maybe I should just Professor Oak. I mean, I, I really should probably get something going on the bench. And then, yeah, hmm, preferably something that isn't water. <laughs> maybe what I'll do is trade Seal because I already discarded the Dugong. And go for Dratini. There you are. And we plop that on the bench. Star you too. Oh, that's right. <laughs> and well, not gonna be evolving it anyway, so. And we're gonna lullaby. So, yeah, I'm just gonna use Jigglypuff here as the stall, and maybe I can wiggly tough it up after I use Professor Oak too. That could be pretty nice and do a sweeper sweep. Who knows? All I know is I'm in decent shape, aside from, you know, the double damage weakness thing. <laughs> Except, well, on non-colorless Pokémon this deck, because everything's weak against, yeah. Alright, so let's go do that. I'm gonna hold the double colorless as a surprise. And lullaby. Not enough there, little Voltorb. And you're not waking up this turn either, I see. <laughs> this is like... This, the lullabies are really working out for me right now. Uh, I, I don't know if it would have made a difference or anything, because I already had Professor Oak to kind of give me a one-up in that regard, but wait, wait. Do I want to discard that Pokemon Trader? Because I have... Uh, uh. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh. Because I could use Pokemon Trader to get something, say, like Wigglytuff in the future, if I get a Pokemon, or... That's a lullaby for now. <laughs> so I, I'll, I'll think about that a little bit longer, because I don't think I there's any urgency to do that right now, since, yeah, still in pretty decent shape, and thankfully Voltorb is not waking up, except after his turn, for some reason. There we go. <laughs> Seems to be the pattern of how things are going. Okay, here we go. Pokemon Trader, Jigglypuff. I'm gonna swap for... Uh, Wigglytuff. There we go. 
plop that on there. And I wonder if I should... Why are you putting so much energy on that? I didn't... I didn't... I didn't realize that until now. Like, why... It only requires two! Are you worried about me using energy removal or something? Because, you know, I could still wipe that out in a single turn. <laughs> um... Well, Jigglypuff is still pretty safe then. So I guess I could wait to evolve it and just do a pound for now. Because when I do so, I can get 20 damage off on it. And if I were to evolve it into Wigglytuff, it would be kind of... Yeah, I wouldn't be able to attack, I'd just be doing the doing <laughs> the lullaby just like Jigglypuff's been doing. But as long as I can do some nicking damage to it, it seems like a pretty good idea. Plop that on there, Wigglytuff, and hope, hope to Arceus he does not get a head flip on the next turn there. Otherwise, my Wigglytuff might be a goner there, but we'll see. Let's go ahead and fill stuff up here. I already put my energy card for the turn. Uh, yeah, let's do the wave, I suppose. Yeah, I don't know why there's so much energy on that Electabuzz. I don't know. <laughs> See, does he feel like putting all that energy as extra good luck? Maybe it worked because my Wiggly has been KO'd. Alas, alas. Alright. Dragon Air it is. <laughs> I mean, it's not like I didn't have backup. Uh, well, I might as well go Hyper Beam then, just to be sure I get the knockout. Mm, yeah, just go ahead. Doesn't matter if I, you know, discarding the energy is going to be knocked out anyway, it's just a thing of, I, I wanted to guarantee damage, and not risk double tail flips. Uh, ooh. Uh, that Magnemite may explode. We shall see. It was probably, yeah, I was going to say, it's probably going to go for the Paralysis like I was going for the Sleep for the sake of stalling. Uh, that Zapdos, if he can manage to power it up, that could be a problem. But you know, come to think of it, where's all my energy removal? <laughs> That'd be kind of nice to kind of get a one-up on that, although he's, I guess he's not powering up the Zapdos right now, so... Hmm. I guess I'll go for the Dugong on the side. I mean, yeah, double damage, but... 50 damage I, I can dish out per turn, so... Uh, let's see if he blows up the Magnemite. Oh. Hmm. Uh, Magnemite, yep. Looks like a... Oh, uh, really? I was gonna say, it looks it looks like a little self-destructive is coming there, but no? Maybe he just wants to guarantee his ability to self-destruct in the future? I don't know, but I can't do anything with Dragonair right now anyway, so... <laughs> just attach, and the turn call it a day. <laughs> wow. Yeah, you're getting a lot of head flips there, mister. I, I don't appreciate this. This is like lick -a tongue territory. Ooh, um... Uh... Hmm... Do I want to energy removal the Electrode, or do I want to go for the Magnemite? That's gonna probably self-destruct. Hmm... And he's probably got lightning energy to make it self-destruct anyway. So maybe I'll save it and give him a surprise. Although he may give me a surprise for all I know. Oh, there's your removal. On. Really? Why? I don't. I mean, I could still give some. Well, no. <laughs> I was gonna say, I could still give something to Dragonair. And then I'll be able to attack with it. But I haven't been able to attack because of the head flips. Alright. So. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on a sec. He hasn't been attaching energy. That means he's likely out of energy. So let's take it out of that. Electrode, and you know what? If he wants to blow up the Magnemite, he can. <laughs> it's like. I think I'm in pretty good shape regarding that Dugong and everything like that, so. Okay, Flying Pikachu got an energy. That was probably his draw. And the explosion has happened, so you get a double KO, but that is not going to work well for him. It's gonna do the damage to everything, including his own critters, which means. Yeah, it just kind of puts some um, even more in Dugong range. <laughs> so let's plop out that Dugong. It doesn't matter what he puts out, because I'll just be able to continually KO it. I mean, yeah, you could have put out Electrode or Zapdos, but it's going to take him a while to repower that up, and... You know, I don't even have to use my energy removal, if you think about it, because of the, uh... The only, th the only thing he's got is the Flying Pikachu, and that's going to be KO'd, so... 
I shall save that for whatever you're gonna try to power up. Another flying Pikachu. And electrode. Okay, so are you gonna try and retreat? You may, or you may try to do double on me. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter if you can well, Let's do that. Just to kind of mess with him a little bit there. And a beam. Oh wait, did I not attach an energy again? Hmm, well, well, we're fine. <laughs> I think we're okay. He's gonna retreat anyway. No, he's gonna have to retreat, I should say, and yeah. And now Zapdos is kind of... Kind of locking him in. Because Zapdos has a high retreat cost. Yeah! So I think I won, unless he's got a switch. Star you, water. Okay, let's not forget to attach water energy. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, oh, maybe I should have traded for a Jiggly. Oh, whatever. <laughs> I think I got this one, guys. <laughs> so I guess type advantage doesn't mean that much <laughs> when you're going against. The Stop It Deck! I guess I'll pop that on. I don't know, it was a finish a game. <laughs> Woo! And... Victory! Once again! Woo! -hoo! And Mint has done it again! Let's do total victories! Next battle may determine this cup's champion. What bad luck, Chip. Please try again next time. <laughs> snappers. It'll be a full six prize card bout for this final card battle. Well, which Team GRM member is up to the challenge? Oh, oh! Miss Energy Removal! <laughs> the next challenger is here. It's Claire. Wait, did you like the modifier to change your deck? Oh, well, I, I just want to save my game. Thank you. <laughs> just, just as usual. And... Ready? Start the fateful third match. And there's no special rule here with the whole, yeah, cards get removed. I mean, excuse me, energy cards go back to the hand unless they're discarded with something there, so. Oh, it is! Oh! There is! I see! Interesting! I didn't remember that! <laughs> Okay, so I guess they're playing it with her at her full strength then. Ooh, energy removal is already there. Um, I guess we'll lead with Lapras. Jigglypuff is back up. Let's go and hope for the best. I'm, I'm gonna end up running her out of cards, aren't I? <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, her deck can do a lot, a lot of damage, but if we're gonna be energy removing each other all day and all night, it's gonna be pretty stalematey. <laughs> eh, we'll see how things go. I'm just gonna try and make the most out of said energy removal. I don't think I'm gonna use it just yet, because I'm gonna go for the Confuse Rate. There we go, very nice. Because the thing about it is... I kind of want her to attack with Kangaskhan if she's able to or if she wants to because of the self damage. So, oh, oh, she's not. <laughs> okay, so I guess she's decided to change plans. Um, I wonder if I should remove that. I don't, I don't know. I think I'll just water gun for now. <laughs> just kind of. Wait it out, see what she decides to do, because I, I don't think the Slowpoke is much of a threat in on itself. Oh, she powered up Ghastly instead, so she's kind of giving an even distribution of energy. And water Gun. And the next turn, I could attach another energy to Lapras to outright knock out Kangaskhan, but we'll see if I need to do that, depending on what she does. Uh, so she's going for Ghastly. I guess maybe the energy conversion? Possibly, because, you know, her discard strategy and all like that, but this, this is the only one that's going to come back to her hand, so maybe she's going to go Slowpoke next? Hmm. At the very least, I'm going to go Wigglytuff and make sure that bad boy is going. And, well, ready to go. <laughs> and, yeah, I'm just going to Water Gun. I'm not going to just outright knock out the Kangaskhan, because I, I think... I am good at the moment 
So, I'm not doing anything. Oh, wait, wait, hold on a sec. You didn't even attach energy. Really? Good. Good. <laughs> oh, maybe I should have did Confuser really just for the fun of seeing the coin flip, but too late. Alright, so energy conversion, I, I guess? Is that what you're gonna pull, do? Is that your idea? Super energy on who? Uh, my Lapras, okay. And Slowpoke. Doing the liquor. Okay, so no energy conversion. Uh, actually, maybe it might have made more sense to do the energy conversion in a way because. She now has two in her discard pile. Well, I mean. It, it, well, wait, actually, no, 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 wait. Did, does she? Because, wait, wait. I'm trying to think of how the rule goes. You know, the special rule? Uh. Because, yeah, I thought if, if it's discarded via an effect, it doesn't go back to her hand. But in. Yeah. Hmm. So, yeah, I think she would have had to use energy conversion to get it back, because it shouldn't be back in her hand. Right? Yeah, she's got five cards in her hand. I thought she would have had seven. Anyway, let's go ahead and. Maybe. Should we just go straight for the dugong? Just kind of use Lapras as the the staller. I'm thinking so. I mean, we already got kind of a one up on her in general, so. Mm, yeah, it wouldn't have mattered anyway if I had tried to attach something to Lapras, because we're gonna deal with the unlimited head coin flips. <laughs> so let's call it a turn and see if maybe. Maybe Lapras could do something on the next turn. Oh jeez. That could be a problem there. See, yeah, this could move around those damage counters and something that I don't want it to. And also that push aside may also do something. <laughs> Hopefully it won't. Oh shoot. But it's, it's gonna shuffle. Oh! Oh, it got my wiggly. Oh man! Well, I still have two gong, but still. Oh man! <laughs> That may actually be a detriment to her if you think about it, because if this is going to be a stall war game, it's... <laughs> you know, she's, she just put more cards back in my deck. So, I am now free to use Professor Oak if I want to, which I think I'm going to do. Oh, yeah, I just use Energy Removal on the Dark Gengar to prevent that flip-flopping all over the place if I can. In fact, I will do that one more time. Uh, 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 should I go ahead and start powering up a Dratini into Dragonair? Because I can do my own unlimited energy removal, or should I start attacking with the Lapras? I'm thinking I should go... Alright, <laughs> I'm thinking I should go with the uh, Dratini, but yeah, anyway, I was just thinking way too much that turn, <laughs> and here we go, have a good day, wait, actually, do I want, nah, she doesn't have two energy cards on, and I don't think I want a Professor Oak so hastily, we have the same amount of cards in our deck right now, although she has nightly garbage on anyway. Anyway, I'll just end my turn. <laughs> See how things go. Uh, Alright, you did that. I will do uh, this. Uh, yeah, I don't think I'll use a Professor Oak. Just wait for her to use a Professor Oak, basically. Uh, yeah. Done. <laughs> I think we're in decent shape in terms of powering up other critters. I mean, yeah, she can... She could enter. Oh wow! <laughs> she could energy removal stuff, but so can I. So I, I think I'm in the better shape in terms of the energy curve. You know what I mean? Although that push aside could be annoying. Ah, nice. Right, so this is the time that I use the super because now she's got two on one. So we're gonna. I think I discard one off of the dragon air because I could still use double colorless or any sort of energy in general. Wipe those out. Oh, oof. yeah, I thought it was bench. I mean, I thought the bench is full. <laughs> oh, there's Nightly Garbage Run. Okay, so she's getting those shuffled back in there. 
And uh, she's, you know, she's gonna use Professor Oak eventually. Uh, seal. Oh. Done. <laughs> At least I think she'll use Professor Oak eventually. Who knows? Maybe she's gonna try and run me out of cards as well. So something at random. It's gonna be the Jigglypuff, which is kind of moot. <laughs> uh. Actually, as long as she'll be bouncing stuff, might as well just make sure that she doesn't hit my two aces. Oh. Interesting. <laughs> That's not what I was expecting at all. Or maybe she is trying to run me out of cards. Hmm. Ah! Ah! <laughs> uh, energy removal. Uh... I'll call it a turn. <laughs> it's just, it's a game of deck numbers, basically, because I don't want to run out of cards, and she probably doesn't either. <laughs> I don't know if the AI keeps track of that, but yeah. Done. <laughs> I'm actually kind of, sort of counting on her to knock out the Lapras, but... Nope. Dark Hunter. Might get another Dark Gengar flopped out on the field. Perhaps, maybe? Uh, and with that play tricks, she could potentially use it, you know, then yeah. Um... Maybe I should, actually. Begin the water gunning, and then possibly the switching on the next turn, you know what I mean? Alright, so the play tricks... Actually, what are you even using that play tricks on? It's... <laughs> like, it's... Is that that one damage counter? Well, two damage. <laughs> Is that really that? Im I, I don't know. <laughs> okay, so now she's using Professor Oak, which means I can now use it. Uh, super energy removal on probably my Dragonair or Dugong, right? Dugong, okay. Dark Gengar. Afternoon nap, just getting all those energy on the Slowpoke. Because when I knock out the Slowpoke, they'll go to her hand, basically. Uh, Wigglytuff, Jigglypuff. That's the one that probably went back to the deck at some point. Uh, well... She got 17, my 24. Should I just Professor Oak now? I mean, yeah, I definitely should energy removal something. Probably the Dark Gengar. But... Eh... Yeah. I'm thinking I should. Oh wait, what? I don't have a star. I thought it. Oh, maybe I'm thinking of next game. I mean, the last game. You see, I had a star in play. Uh. All right, let's go, Professor Oak. Maybe I can wipe out all the energy cards she's got. But yes, yeah, notice how she's gonna be one card behind me now, unless she nightly garbage runs, of course. But we'll cross that bridge if we need to. <laughs> uh. Let's go and do a little sneaky sneak here. Let's do a little bit of water gun damage here to the slowpoke, but not switch just yet. Because I'm going to see where those damage counters are going to go with play tricks. Oh, hmm. Interesting. It's kind of ended up healing my main, <laughs> main Lapras here. So yeah, she wants those energy cards to go to her hand, that's for sure. I don't think there's anything that we can really do about that, other than just kind of sweep her when we get the opportunity to, so I think I'm just going to go water gun and just let her shuffle something back into my deck, and then I'll just fit uh, follow up by knocking out the Dark Gengar probably with something, and after two turns, so we shall see. Oh no! That Mr. Mime is... Oh no! Yeah. A star you would help with that one, because the invisible wall preventing all damage from anything above 20. Alright, so that was successful. And that hits seal. Okay. Alright, so now what I think I'm going to do here is follow up on the plan. Do God. <laughs> Plop that there. See, the Dark Gengar is its a really weird card. It can only really do damage via the play tricks, but the, the main thing that it does is it 
shuffles stuff back into the deck. So it's not really an attacker in on itself, it's just there to mess with you a lot, <laughs> basically. Uh, but anyway, since I got Dugong as my active Pokémon, it will not be able to use the Push Aside on it because it suffers a random bench Pokémon and all cards attached to it, so... Anyway, oops, that's right. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, I guess I should get that Staryu set up for the future Mr. Mind, because she's probably going to switch into it. And... oh. Okay, took her. Well, let's see if she switches. That's what I would do, is switch into the Mr. Mind, because she's not going to get very far with the, the Gengar in general. And you got the Super Energy Removal of Doom. Okay, she's not. She's just going to try and go for the Shuffling, and the Shuffling is a no-go. Alright, so... Once I knock out that Gengar, she's probably gonna go Mr. Mime then, so I should probably get a Star you set up there. And Aurora Beam, the Dark Gengar, so... I'll probably have to retreat to Dugong, unfortunately. Yep, there it is. Uh, cause yeah, I won't really be able to do all that much with it, versus the Mr. Mime. But ooh, she is... Kind of sucking up our cards pretty quick now. <laughs> Super energy removal on who? Oh, the Dugong? Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of in the lead in many aspects in this, in just in general, though, so I don't think I'm in bad shape or anything like that. And you know, Dragonair would just be the end of <laughs> that Misty Mime as well because of the energy removal properties. Uh... Oh, 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 I got an idea. If I were to evolve something, and it gets put back into the deck, that would allow me to get more cards back in my deck. So I'm thinking, I'll put the Dratini back in, and get myself a Starmie, just for the future. Because remember, three energy will work on Starmie as well, and oh, that's right, well, whatever, whatever. <laughs> and yeah, so it'll still be able to do 20 damage, if I want to. But in the meantime, I got Dragonair, anyway, so... Yeah, let's call it a turn here. And she's like, uh-oh! <laughs> Did you see that face? She's like, uh-oh! I, I see what it's doing there! <laughs> ah, computer search. Don't know what she picked, but it's probably gonna be good! Oh, that's... That, that, I think that's kind of useless at this point. I mean, yeah... <laughs> I mean, oh, no, no, don't use... You used Professor Oak? Oh no, you can't win now! Oh, um, I guess maybe you can. You're just gonna get three cards back to the... But Yeah, the thing about it is that I was saying um, she would be below the amount of prize cards that she has left to take. But now, wait, wait, no, 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 she's still below that, yeah! She's got five cards in her deck with six prize cards to take, so yeah, we win no matter what. We could just do nothing now, <laughs> unless she has ways to put stuff back in her deck. I would say that Professor Oak was a humongous mistake. <laughs> oh man, oh man, you can you can meditate all day and all nights. That's not gonna like get a, I mean, it's gonna keep accumulating damage on Dugong, but you know what? Mess her up a little bit there. <laughs> put that on Starmie and my turn. And she seems so happy, I don't I don't think she realizes how many cards are left in there. It's like Yuki running down strings' his deck. It's like for the Sky Dragon's own ability! <laughs> uh, well, it also has a combination of brain control and uh, revival slime. But it details! It'd be details. <laughs> uh, let's go pop that on Wigglytuff. And... Yeah, I don't really think I need to do anything. <laughs> just, you, 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 you can do that if you'd like to. Just, there, there you go. You feel feel very good about yourself. You finally got a prize card. Dragonair. So I'm gonna start sucking up the energy cards. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm not gonna use Bill. Because the Bill... I don't know, maybe she'll have some sort of sneak attack to put a bunch of cards back in my deck. And... <laughs> Actually, I don't think she's got something like Professor Oak or... I mean, excuse me, Imposter Professor Oak to, to pull that off, so... No, I'm just sucking up all the energy on Dragonair. That doesn't make much of a difference either. 
And yeah, because of the resistance of Dragonair, Meditate will do nothing. See, it's... yeah. Yeah, 10 additional damage for each damage counter, so it's gonna do 30. But Dragonair is... Resi yep. So that's, that's another way that we can win this, but I don't have any energy right now, so... Uh, I just end my turn and I win. <laughs> well then. Well then, I, I don't know if I would say that was an even battle or not, because we weren't really getting very far on each other, but it's certain. <laughs> Look at her face. <laughs> Kari wants to jump from there. <laughs> yeah, I want. Look at like, how, how is she surprised? She's, she's drawing her card, she's putting her hand on the deck, seeing it thin out more and more. But yet, she plays Professor Oak, she's like, oh yeah, this is a good idea. <laughs> Congratulations, Mint has emerged the victor! What bad luck, Claire. At least try again next time. <laughs> we have finally found a new King Cup champion! It's not enough for you to miss me! That was, a, that was quite a change in tone there. <laughs> There you go, man. Your new Blastoise level 52 card, right there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, that reminds me. In those random packs that I was getting, you know, the present packs, I got another Blastoise from that as well. So I got four Blastoise now. Mint, once more, congratulations. See, so yeah, now I could build a pretty true Rain Dance deck. Uh, Challenge Cup is now over. Please be patient for our next cup. Coveted King Cup competition. Challengers are not being accepted on the no. same dialogue as before. Oh, and I also forgot to mention this. Uh, really, really quick here. I got a different kind of ride on, if I recall correctly. It is somewhere in here. Oh, wait, wait. That, no, no, no. This one. This weird looking one here. <laughs> It's like it's got his arms crossed, like, or something based on, yeah, I don't, I don't remember its illustration offhand, it just kind of looks weird on the game board. Uh, take the first cards of your deck, put all uh, fighting energy cards in your hand, discard the rest. So, may or may not want to use that, depending on how many cards you have left in your deck, think Claire. But if you need the energy cards, you might want to go for that. And it does 10 damage for one, which is... 1-2 strike, flip a coin, if it has attack, does 20, 20 additional damage. So, it's possible to do 50 for 3, which is pretty respectable, and 80 HP is also pretty respectable. I mean, I don't want to... Don't get me wrong, the Mountain Break is certainly not bad. I mean, you, you can always use energy cards, you know? But... If you use it too much, you might just... Yeah, you might discard too many good cards. So you, I would use this basically when you really need the energy more than anything. IMO. I, I don't know. It's... <laughs> I, I, I gotta think about that more. But that's that's just how I see that particular card. Anyway. <sighs> Wait, actually, couldn't I just... No, I can't. I was gonna say, can I just exit out of this? No, I can't. Okay, whatever. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's, let's get out of here now and see the other dialogue around these parts. So I do. Well, I, I, I kind of had a, kind of. Okay, I have one. <laughs> no, no, there's no reason to ask you about the results. Whether you're not, you claim that the champion title is your own business. At least stop by again when the next challenge cup is being held. Okay. Um. I hate to break it to you, but it's over. <laughs> so I guess you have the same chancy uh, trade idea, yeah. Okay. So I guess that's all, huh? So with that, I'm gonna end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part when this lady finally realizes that the challenge cup is over. Probably, at least I would hope she will. 